So we're doing a tropical dish. It's the perfect pairing of pork and pineapple to make Hawaiian pulled pork sandwiches, okay? Also, oh. what you're saying is we're making a beach bite, Katie. Yes, we are making a beach bite. On Cooking this, Channel. This was day. inspired by one of my beach bites in Hawaii. I went to a traditional pork roast, and they use a lot of flavors like this. So this is all inspired. I'm awesome. going to have you help me. We've mm. got our slow cookers out because that's the way to make things easy. So I've got a pork butt here. And this is a really great inexpensive cut of meat. I'm just gonna make a little rub for it. So I've got some garlic powder, some onion powder, mm. a little salt, and a little pepper. And just whisk those together. Whisk, whisk us away, away, Katie! Whisk us away. All right, Jeff, if you will season that yes. up for me. And then I don't take the time to sear this. You know, a lot of times you sear a piece of meat before you put it into the slow cooker. I'm like, there's enough flavor going on. Let's just skip the step and put it straight in. Yeah. No liquid is added to it either. What? No, because there's so much in this that right. when it slow cooks, about two to three cups of liquid come out of it. I and we're gonna use that to help make our broth. This is awesome. I've never dry slow cooked a pork butt. You don't even need to add anything to it. So mm. Jeff, if you'll put it in our slow cooker, mm -hmm. it's gonna cook for eight hours on low. So this is a great thing to put on before you go to bed. And then in the morning, you can do the next step and then have it all. That's awesome. I, I don't know how you sleep yeah. with that. All right, go wash up. It, smells so it comes good. out like this after eight hours. See that? It's pretty much done. And I'm just going to pull it oh. right out of here. It's falling apart know? tender. Jeff, do you know why? I mean, we know it's the shoulder cut, but we call it the butt. Why do we call it the butt? Because every region has, you I mean, there's, it's called a Boston butt. You yeah. have a uh, pork shoulder, pork roast, depending. Yeah. But I think now the official term is pork shoulder, but it either comes from the haunches or the rear, which is essentially the same cut of meat at the end of the day. They, you can cook them the same, mm -hmm. usually the same size. But, you know, just ask your butcher for, give me a, a pork, start with the pork shoulder and then Go down to the butt. If they call it the butt, order a butt. So here's all of the broth that comes off That's of a lot. that while it cooks. Now you can see the fat on there. If you have a fat separator, I do recommend skimming that off. Oh wow, look at this. Because there's a lot of fat in there, so I'm just gonna try to carefully pour. And you want me to shred right. this here, right? Hmm? Is this yeah, ready to go? Shred right? it up with your forks. Oh, I'm just gonna keep it all in there. My grandma had a trick where she would let the broth cool down a little bit yes. and then throw some ice cubes in it and the fat goes right onto the ice cubes. You pull the ice cubes out, throw them away, and you've gotten rid of the fat. Hack. Yeah, it's a good hack. Thank you. All right, so into the broth, I'm adding an eight ounce can of crushed pineapple. Give us some of that Hawaiian flavor. Mm. And then in Hawaii, they use, they have a lot of influence from Asian countries. So Chinese barbecue sauce, hoisin. Love hoisin it. sauce is great. You'll find this in the, uh, Asian aisle in the grocery store. It's got fermented soy in there. It's salty, it's tangy, it's sweet. Everything that you want in a barbecue sauce. And then we're gonna add to it some rice vinegar, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of honey, because we know every great barbecue sauce has sweet and tangy. And salty, so I've got some soy sauce to go in there as well. Use ponzu instead of soy? Yeah, you could. You can totally oh, make fun. this your own, you know? A little citrusy. Yeah. You could even do this with a jar of regular barbecue sauce and just add your regular barbecue sauce instead and then, you know, have the pineapple going and you're still gonna get great Hawaiian flavors. All right, Jeff, if you will put that pork back in the slow okay. cooker when you're done with it. Now, obviously, it doesn't take three slow cookers to get this done. I'm just showing <laughs> you the three steps, you know, so magic of here. television. We're, right. we're lucky to have all these slow cookers. Beautiful, Thank nice you. and shredded in there, beautifully okay. rendered. So let's add our sauce back in. And then I like to put this on low for another hour, even two hours, and let it keep going. If you you're having my, people my over. Sunny, you want to lick the batter? Are you offering for me to lick your hand? <laughs> you could just set it on warm and let it set for a long time. And it comes out like this. Two more hours, right? Hour to two hours, yeah. And then I've made a little uh, slaw here. This is napa cabbage that I cut really fine and just added a little rice vinegar, some sugar, and some celery seed and salt to it. And of course, I've got those Hawaiian buns. Yes. Oh. I love these. Oh, nice and sweet Let's and soft and pillowy. I love them. Hawaii is a state that will catch you. 
a lot of people go down and they don't come back up. You know, I loved it <laughs> so much. I'd never been before until we went for Beach awesome. Bites. And if I could figure out how to live in Maui, I would. You could do it. You could do it. Look at that. Yeah. Mm. Look at Beautiful. that. That's what I'm talking about, Jeff. You worked hard for this. Oh, lay it on me. Look at Take that. Take a bite of that. As they have very good ratios, I should say. Yeah. yeah you know ratios. I know ratio. Mm -hmm. I'm going in. I always love a slow cooker meal for a crowd, too. Everybody can serve themselves and it stays warm. Drippage. Drippage. No slippage. Oh, oh, oh. Tastage. Oh, oh, oh. That's great. That's a side dish right there. <laughs> but you know what I love about this? Not only is the meat like super tender and so succulent and fatty in a perfect, you know, pulled pork way, but it's still like rustically pu pulled. You know what I mean? It's not shredded into like just just like a sauce, you know, and it's not too sweet. And I taste all those, uh, the, the hoi, the complexity from the hoisin in there and the sweetness from the pineapple and the crunch you get from this fresh slaw. It is awesome. I am already on occasion.